Hi, Hub Archer here along with senior editor Eric Edholm as we bring you Pro Football Weekly's preview of the Monday night game of the week for week 13 of the 2012 NFL season. Kind of an interesting ball game actually as nobody saw this coming but the New York Giants biggest competition in the NFC East right now is from the Washington Redskins who are trying to fight their way back to 500 and be a factor in RG3 playing great football the rookie Morris at running back everything seems to be going right for this Redskins team after it looked like they were out of it a couple weeks ago yeah no question about it I mean they were three and six heading into the bye Mike Shanahan's talking about evaluating for next year everybody saw that as a white flag going up but you know, they've come back strong in the last two games the big performance in Thanksgiving uh, you know Griffin was outstanding the defense held serve for the first 43 or so minutes before falling apart. The one thing you have to mention with this, the Redskins seem to kind of have the Giants number. Almost beat them in week seven, beat them twice last year when they didn't have Griffin at quarterback. So this is a team that has the right formula, I think, for figuring this team out. Well, it's interesting, Eric. I was on the sidelines last Sunday night for our Dial Global National Radio broadcast of that uh, Giants-Packers game. Giants had been horrible going into the bye. <laughs> Eli Manning had been struggling, and suddenly they were the defending world champions again. They played about as well as they can play last Sunday night. Yeah, that was a, a vintage performance. You could say that game and the San Francisco game remind people of just how powerful they can be. They can get back to that championship level on any given week. But given what we've seen for the body of work this season, you still have to consider them to be a little bit of a weekly question mark. I don't know that they're going to be able to replicate that kind of performance in D.C. this weekend. You know, one of the issues they have, Andre Brown had been a revelation behind Ahmad Brown. Bradshaw. That ankle did not look good when he went down Sunday. And even with the two of them, much like with Bradshaw and Jacobs, they haven't consistently run the football. And that's a problem because teams are keying on taking away Victor Cruz. I think that's a, that's a key reason. Now, Cruz got loose for that 77-yarder. One of the highlights of his career, he said, uh, against the Redskins last time. That essentially was the game winner in the final minute or so. Uh, you know, for the most part, the Redskins did a pretty good job against the Giants up until that point. Eli and, and Victor were having trouble getting on the same page. But as we've seen all season long, that Redskins secondary is prone to giving up those big plays. Yeah, they want to stop the run. I think that's what they do best. But those big plays really do have to worry you when we look at that secondary. Well, and I'll confess, I wrote off the Redskins when Brian Arakbo and Adam Carricker went down Easy the same do, week. Yep. You know, and, and you look at that defense, you see how they're getting it done but it's been good enough to keep them in football games. Now, granted, they gave up 35 points in Dallas last week. I don't think they can give up 35 to the Giants and beat them, but they've been able to hang around the last couple weeks. Right, and held the Giants to 27. I know that's still a pretty big number, but it was 20 points there until that fluke play at the end. Not fluke, but a defensive breakdown. You could say Madhu Williams playing far too far inside. And, it, you know, if they could just avoid those kind of disaster plays, I know it's asking a lot because we've seen so many of them this year. I think the Redskins absolutely have a chance in this game. The way they ran the football in that first matchup was so impressive have controlled the line of scrimmage. Well, we can't wrap up without pointing out RG3 second straight week on national TV. He's being introduced to the world now. He is quite a thing at quarterback. I don't know if he's the complete quarterback yet, and if the Giants take the running game away a little bit, it'll be interesting to see how RG3 deals with that front seven of the Giants. There's no question. I mean, Jason Pierre-Paul can get after it, especially if Trent Williams is banged up this week. That's going to be a huge factor. But I watched that tape again from week seven, huh? but it was amazing to me the way that line pushed the Giants back, sometimes two, three yards, uh, Pierre Paul getting pancaked on a couple runs early on. They've got to do it for four quarters, though. They didn't do it the last time. They kind of tailed off at the end. If Williams is hurt, that's going to be a big difference. And I will say this, though. Griffin has raised his game against NFC East teams. 139 quarterback rating. Uh, well, it's prediction time. And the weekly question with the New York Giants, will Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde show up? <laughs> we don't really know. How do you see this one going? I actually picked the Redskins this one. I mean, coming off that Packers game, you'd think the Giants would be rolling into this one. But that was just one game. And I suspect that was just one that they had to get back. In this game, it it wouldn't stun me at all if Griffin has a big game, if Morris has a big game, and the, somehow the Redskins make enough plays on defense to scratch one out. You know, I can't remember earlier in the week, I may have taken the Redskins too, but I got to tell you, after being on that giant yeah. sideline last Sunday, that was the defending world champs again. And I think they know that this one kind of sticks a fork in the rest of the conference, or the rest of the division, I should say. I look for the Giants to have another big performance. That'll do it for our preview of the Monday night game of the week. For all the best in news, notes, and analysis, everything you need to thoroughly enjoy the National Football League, you need to stay with us at ProFootballWeekly.com.